radio. Hi, yeah. this is uh, Rod Lucas from the Radio School, and here I have uh, SJ in front of me, and I'm filming this on an Android, so it's going to be interesting to see whether it even comes out. Welcome, SJ. Hi. Yeah, SJ um, has been with me. Well, this is her third day, yeah. and she's been doing some uh, very interesting uh, radio, and she's still got another session to do this afternoon. And that session is going to be what? Tell everyone what that session uh, actually will be. The, the last session um, is going to be just going over everything that I've learnt and. Um, getting the best out of uh, my three days. Yeah. We've um, been through lots of different um, formats of shows, information and music, and we're honing each show down to get more content in, how to tackle that content, how much, whether it's enough. And we're going to add some new stuff in today. We've done some phone-ins this morning. Yeah, so tell us, yeah. tell us what's in your show today, this afternoon. Um, today, we're going to be talking a bit about, um, you know, how uh, one in four women do not like to see, don't want to be naked in front of their husbands. <laughs> um, and so that's going to be a bit of a controversial um, subject that I would like um, the listeners to phone in. Yeah. And also Th This morning, just before that, yeah. you did an interesting phone in. We uh, replicated some uh, phone in callers this morning. You were yes. talking about, tell us what you were talking about on your show well, today. First part, we were talking about dating and um, how, you know, whether you should, um, after the first date, should you ring or text your your date about how it went, or you know if you really like someone, how what you know what do you do? It's and you had Janice. Uh, she was it Janice who called in and she yeah, said Janice, that uh, you yeah. shouldn't text someone. So that was interesting. She, yeah, she said that you know she always appears too keen. But then we then again we had a chat phone in later, um, and he said that he had the same problem. So we've come to a bit of an agreement that, that both men and women feel um, pretty much the same. Yeah. Just so that was, sure. that was one part of the show. And then, yes. we, of course, we had um, the music and we had What's yeah. On because we were doing this as Bristol FM, a brand new radio station. Yes. What's yes. been the hardest part of your training so far? Because you did a little bit of radio, but not much. did some student radio or something didn't yes, you, in the 90s. I, yes, I did, a, I did a bit of a stint on a monetary station back in 98. And I did quite a bit on that station. But it's so different. It's a bit of a shock, actually. Um, a bit of a, a good shock, of course. Well, the technology yes. came in. Yes. The internet yes. came in. Yeah. Radio just changed completely about what yes. the listeners require. You can't be as random as you were back in 98. Um, you have no. to be more of a broadcast journalist, stroke, presenter, stroke. Uh, yeah. So many different yeah. sort of um, Absolutely. personas really now. So we've been yeah. coming to grips with all that and putting it all into one pot. And as you can yeah. see, SJ's 190. Uh, that's why she's looking so uh, fit. So oh, we've been right. trying to remember everything that we did in the 1990s. Yeah. Well, uh, SJ has. And, and try to make that all happen. Yeah. Uh, get rid of all the bad bits and bring her up to date on all the new bits. And yes. certainly going to go back to Bristol with some ideas and stuff. I think it's harder than driving. I've got to say, actually, being a radio presenter is harder than learning to drive which I find, <laughs> yeah. um, I find hard I find it quite hard to learn to drive so um, you know there's so much uh, mm. technology that you have to there's so many things you have to sort of remember well it's the talking and the working yeah absolutely multi multitasking uh, we talking should be good at that. women should be good at that but I don't know how many examples <laughs> Um, but I'm trying my best. So. Well, I've also said you should do a bit of uh, television as well, but you know that's that's that, that's a little way off. But I mean, you'd like to do voiceovers, but I mean, it's all yes. part of the same thing. Yes. This communicating, this one to one, this yes. uh, how to put content together to make an interesting story, yes. an interesting program, um, diverse and fun and entertaining and all that stuff. What do you th what, what what do you think you'll take away most of all from the course? I've learnt that I need to widen my general knowledge you know I have been into sort of education for a while and I think I've been in my own bubble with a lot of things going on um, that have sort of perhaps taken over my life but I think I, I sort of have been my own worst enemy by uh, sort of limiting myself in, in life I'm sort of so caught up in, in training hard and caught up in a lot of things yeah. I need to get out there and learn and read more books educate myself start again really just bring yourself yes. up to speed but you know the, the more papers you can read yes. uh, the, the more you know no about what's going on newspapers really yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen, good luck. We've got another uh, training session to go. It's been yeah. nice to see you, and um, we look forward to hearing you on Bristol FM or something. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Well done. Good. Let's just... Oh.